Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about finances and I think we are in a very volatile time. The volatility of the stock market, the volatility of the job market. I was watching a documentary where a lot of people posting jobs are not actually posting real jobs, that they are fake jobs. I don't really know why they do that. Maybe for diversity, right? You got to get X amount of this type of candidate, Y amount of that type of candidate. But it does seem that there is a lot of jobs that aren't actually being, aren't actually real. And I think that comes down to the fact that the job markets, the people think the job economy is really, really good. But uh, it, it's not. It is not. Another really interesting thing about the Bidenomics and the card games, if I've seen it, you know, people are desperate to sell me their collections. Because I pay above market and I just cannot do it. I have a daughter and I don't know how expensive she will be. We have uh, to go to the pediatrician tomorrow. And that's going to be costly. I, we do have insurance, but it's not like you have to like send insurance. We didn't do it. We're going to use my significant other's insurance to do it. Because he has better insurance than I do. And yeah, it's, everything is really, I mean, we got the hospital bill, we paid it off, got 20% discount on it. So luckily we have that money. I'm just kind of wondering like, how much money does it take to raise a kid? And until I know that fact, I'm probably not going to buy any more collections. There are very, I can read you desperate email. I don't know why the hell people are trying to sell me so much Metazoo and Flesh and Blood. My God, they're trying to, is something like wrong with Flesh and Blood? What happened there? I'm still trying to piece it together, but it looks like it's pretty healthy. Maybe like the collectors got effed. Maybe the investors got effed and now they're trying to move it. I, I tried to, I went on a few YouTube channels trying to figure out what happened in Flesh and Blood. Because I think it's like still okay. But it's not Magic the Gathering. You can't charge $300, $400, $500 $400 for a booster box, my good friend Alpha Investment, right? You just can't do it. Um, another interesting um another really interesting scenario uh, and i think this is something that is 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 very fascinating to me personally is not only the amount of people selling their collections but the collections that are hitting the market so i know when the market is suffering because i know when the cards are going to go down because then you see like dudes with like one piece they have they have naruto they have uh, My Hero Academia, they have a little bit of magic, they have some Pokemon. That's the worst type of investor. Um, I can tell you 100% of 100, the dude investing in MetaZoo, and he's also investing in Pokemon, and he's investing in you. Like, you gotta, the one thing I have learned about this is you cannot be good at, at like, all these card games. It's like, do you even have the time to play all these card games? Do you even have the time to play one of them? Probably not. So if you don't understand the competitive scene, you don't understand this scene, it's going to be tough, man. Like um, for Weiss, um, we love anime. And my God, it's just, it's so hard to pick up a new card game because it's so damn expensive. I think we spent like 10000 15000 Weiss. And I did that with uh, Meta X. I did that with Inuyasha. I did that. Inuyasha was more. I did it with Fire Emblem Cypher because I, I like the IPs. But I knew that I could never make my money back. And that's what people do with Meta. But it was, these games were never like pitched as an investment. They were pitched as something collectible that I enjoy. And I, I still think my Fire Emblem Cypher cards are some of the most beautiful cards ever made. My Inuyasha cards are 25, 30 years old, man. You know, and I have the uh, I have the premium Inuyasha collection. I have the uncut sheets and whatnot of the first free sets. I actually have five uncut sheets from all the first free sets, including the first set, which I paid... I way overpaid for that one, but but that's the first one, right? Uh, and I guess there was some supposed person bidding against me. I don't know if that was real or fake, but uh, uh, so so back to um, what I need to say is, yeah, people are gonna lowball you, man. They're gonna lowball the hell out of you. Uh, they're gonna lowball the hell out of you, my dudes. Like, get ready just to get like lowballed to oblivion. I don't lowball. If anyone's dealt business with me. You know, I give you the benefit of the doubt every time. I've lost a shit ton of money doing that, but that's business. I want your business, right? I want you to sell me your Black Lotus, sell you the other stuff. 
Ain't, ain't no more. I think I'm going to probably take off. Of, maybe I'll, I, I love eBaying auction. My, gr my girlfriend and I, we love going on eBay to auction. We'll probably set aside a small amount. We, we, it's a fun hobby we do together. Um, it's, it's a really fun hobby uh, to like find like Oshino Ko or Sakura. We have some big cards in the mail, like huge cards from Sakura. Um, we have the BGS 10. Uh, what was it? Um, and we have uh, some spy. Oh, we have Spy Family coming. We have a secret rare Spy Family, and we have some other stuff. We're just like, but we're probably done for buying that. That's stuff that we bought before, and it just got like stuck in Japan or Australia, or whatever. Yeah, this is kind of my advice to you guys. Like, having looked at my financial situation, not everyone has the money to survive this. This is going to be a bad, bad recession. I think. A lot of these card games are going to go the way of the Dodo. Uh, they will go extinct. I think MetaZoo is one of them. I would not be surprised if a lot of these Kickstarter games um, have gone extinct because the times are getting tough and you have limited, very limited uh, income now in terms of finding a new job. The job market is, I don't know what who's doing this, but like a lot of these jobs in the job market are not real. You know, they look good, but they ain't real, right? They ain't real. So back to the inter interesting thing um, about having a kid. You really start looking at your finances, what you bought, what you're eating and stuff like that. Um, and even even not like just finances about what you're eating, like what you're actually eating. So I, I actually was going to buy MetaZoo. I put an offer up to buy MetaZoo. And I'm not going to do that anymore, uh, unrelated. But it would have been cool to have some Hello Kitty stuff for the young daughter. But these people, they kept saying it's an investment. It's an investment. Look at how great and limited edition. First edition, right? These should be like warning signs when a card game has to make things limited edition. I mean, I, I'm watching, you know, because I spend a lot of time bottle feeding. Like, you know, my, I'm basically a single dad for now until my significant other, my girlfriend can get uh, healed, right? There is a healing period. So the, she's helping uh, very, she's doing a lot to help me, but I'm, I'm doing my job, I'm running my business. Um, that still has to be done, it's not fully automated. I'm, I had to do all, all the you know driving, she can't even drive right now. And she's not recommended to drive sick. So we had, to, we had a shit ton of doctor's appointments for her and obviously the baby. Um, and I still have to do a shit. I had to do a lot of mother effing work. And then I'm, I'm up until four at night taking care and feeding, changing diapers of the baby. Who's always just kind of crying. I have a lot of time to think. I have a lot of time to think, make videos. There's like a period. So like she cries like every 30 minutes, but there's a period where after I'm done changing diapers, it's just pretty, pretty quiet. Yeah, man. I, I'm so glad I didn't buy MetaZoo <laughs> during the hype. Can you imagine spending $820 on just a single box of MetaZoo? Like a single box. It isn't even like the first edition box. It's the it's the fossil box or the base or the jungle box. It's, well, I mean, it's what is it called? Nightfall. Yikes.